We begin by applying a generous coat of plasticator thick, as the scene is made of plaster. Be sure to cover all surfaces of both the base and the small wall, and set aside to dry for 24 hours. The entire piece was then primed with one-shot primer gray, applied in thin layers. Using one-shot primer white, diluted with transparator, highlights were added to the base of the scene. With Dio Dry Brush color light gray, volume was added to different areas. The brush was unloaded on an absorbent paper and gently feathered on all of the edges to highlight the details. The acrylic filters Sand Gray and Military Green were applied next. The Sand Gray filter was applied to the whole vignette, harmonizing the previous effects. The Military Green filter was applied to all the areas where there will be vegetation. The filter was also applied into the nooks of steps and stones. Before gluing the grass clumps, they were painted with acrylic color forest green. The paint was set aside to dry for at least two hours. The color yellow was airbrushed in an irregular way to give volume. Highlights were applied using Dio Dry Brush Color Light Brick to add ochre tones by applying light brush strokes to the tips of the grass. The bushes were glued on the areas where the green acrylic filter was applied previously. To imitate damp, dank presence of moss and mold in this scene, the product Fine Bush, available on our website www.ammo.es, was used. The fine bush was crumbled by hand to obtain much smaller pieces. The moss was then glued onto the scene with ultra glue, diluted with a few drops of water. A synthetic number no. two round brush was used to deposit the glue in the recessed areas of the steps and the joints of the blocks. A small spoon can be used to carefully deposit the shavings. Allow the surface to dry for a few hours before removing the access by turning the vignette upside down and tapping on the bottom a few times. The next step was to add ferns to the scene. Painting began with dark green. The base color was applied to both sides in extremely thin layers. Next, the color yellow was mixed with transparator. This tone was used to work the outside of the leaves to give contrast and volume. A few more drops of yellow were added to paint the stems. To protect the entire piece, Aqua Gloss Clear was applied. Using a sharp blade, the ferns were detached from their base. Each fern was then placed in the palm of the hand, and the end of a brush was then used to gently create natural curvature. The same process was applied to all plants. Each plant was glued in place using slow-dry cyanoacrylate. A drop is applied to the base of each plant using a brass toothpick before being placed in the desired location. We offer a wide variety of plants. Visit our website www.ammo.es to explore the entire range. Next, small shrubs from the fine bush early summer set were placed. To add more contrast to the scene, spot washes of dark brown wash for green vehicles was selectively added. The wash was deposited in one well, and the enamel odorless thinner in another. The wash was only added where the vegetation and concrete meet, while at the same time imitating dirt on the ground. Finally, some details were added to the scene, including a magazine and a sign which were previously protected with plasticator thin. Once dry, these details were integrated into the scene with Ammo's filter color Brown for White. The color was allowed to build up on the undersides to increase the impression of dirt. Once dry, the location for each element was carefully chosen before each piece was glued in place. This and all the products that you have seen in the video can be found on our website www.ammo.es 
Discover many more videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate notifications. Thank you for watching.